after childhood sexual abuse. Um, he is a survivor, and so am I, of childhood sexual abuse. And the show shines a light on um, sexual abuse and abuse of all different sorts. But it's, it's also, it's poignant, but it's also funny. There's is it a musical? There is music in it. Is Athena? I know yes, Athena. Yes, yes. I was so happy to see her name in there. Well, what we do is, a lot of it takes place in Rich's therapy sessions, but there's flashbacks that happen in his life that are told through dance. And it's a play. It's a play with dance. Okay. So there's, it's not a musical, there's no one singing, okay. but it's a play with dance, with contemporary and modern dance. And it really does talk about uh, recapturing your inner child and, and coming now, to a place of incestuous, or is no. it? Here, I'll let you have a mark. Go uh, ahead. Uh, actually. Um, like Penn State? No, uh, actually, Closer to the, that. the genesis of how the morning came to being this is Sarah said, I'm a survivor of childhood sexual abuse. And, um, Did you know you were? Or? Well, in 2000, in the early 2000s, they, things started to occur. I had a lot of rage and anger in my body. You mean as a, as a grown adult? As a grown adult, yeah. And, you, and then ah, uh, okay. the therapy and then right. brought it out to you know, bring the clock forward a little bit. Um, I was you know, like going to intensive therapy for a while. Were you like in hypnosis or yeah, anything? Yeah, absolutely. And then um, I was going to weekends of recovery, meeting you know, other survivors, etc. And et what? Cetera. How did the light bulb go up? Like, when did you say, like, holy shit? Well, I was doing really great. I mean, I thought I was doing phenomenal. Like, <laughs> just regular. You know, yeah, and then I had a lot of rage and anger because I was going through my body. And my friends would say, Rich, you know, what the hell's going on? You know, you're successful. So, I did you block right it out? Like, you yeah, did, you, it out. Was, so this is like, so a lot of people out there could be victims and don't know. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I, I knew what occurred, but I said that was not the root of my rage and anger. I ah, buried the house. Did I you said. ever tell anyone as a kid? No, never. Jeez. I mean, I had a lot of physical and emotional abuse to go with it, so I was like a perfect victim at the time. You know, and How old were you? Um, the sexual abuse probably started from 9 to maybe 12. Yeah. You know, until I hit puberty. He was into three pubescent and boys. So has he gotten busted? Yeah, he, he was arrested and he was in 50 years in jail. 50 years? Yeah. Is he old already? Like, like yeah, well, is 50 years, is he going to make it? Unfortunately, yes. I think it's paroled on two years. Because oh. I think he served like a 50% uh, of the sentence. Oh. So, so I'm going to be part of the parole process. So how many little boys did he oh, party uh, with? Uh, well, I met the detective that arrested him recently at another function that I had got him to work for. And um, it, you know, he's in a book called Doctors from Hell. Ah. You know, he's a notorious pedophile on the line. Wow. Yeah, and there's a lot of victims. You know, he's in front of the pillow of the community. The same thing like the Penn State thing. Yeah, that's what it seems community. like. People looked up to him, respected him, and just did, did, did a grooming process. You know, like, came from did he family. think he was doing anything wrong? No. He didn't, right? No. He they, they, they never think they did. Or, or they, or and you say you're a victim as well. Well, so. I'm an incest survivor, so for my, oh, okay. I mean, so it, is, it is, is, it's, it's the same and it's different when, it's, right? You know, when it's someone that you know, yeah. yes, it's a different thing. I think when it's your father, which is my story, okay, or when it's you know, a, still pediatrician. a pediatrician, which is a that's who was trusted yeah. person yeah. in a in family, like a coach, a pediatrician, <coughs> a priest, pedophile oh. pediatrician. It's interesting. It's a word yeah. game today, right? Wow, that's crazy. But I don't think I think that for someone like this who abuses and abuses, reoffends and reoffends, right. they don't think they're ever going to get caught. Exactly. And so they 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 have a method of finding the right victim. 
Right. So they, they find a perfect victim that so that Rich yeah. talked about having had <coughs> physical abuse at home, so he had black and blue marks. The pedophile right. said, This is a guy who's a good target for me. Right. Um, he's gonna stay quiet. Was he nice for a while? Did he give you candy and stuff? Did you know what? Lollipops. They had me uh, yeah. believe that I had a, a blood and growth disorder. So his room procedure was I need medication. Uh, you know, so he gave me that. Yeah. yeah. And then when I would rage out at home from the abuse, my parents would call him up and he would say, well, we'll come Bring back him in. We'll, we'll come back his medication. So it's uh, a medication that's going to make him uh, you know, act out. You know, um, and all I, knew, all I knew at that point in time was if I got a blood and growth disorder, I need my medication. So but the coolest part about the whole thing is that you use creativity yes. and you're telling your story in, in, in a creative way. And you, yeah, well, the, the, does this like, is it like therapy every time you're you're involved with the play? Like, does this help you heal even more and more and more? Well, I mean, the reason why I wrote Lemon Meringue. Yeah, now why is it called Lemon Meringue? Right, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Maybe I'll tell you, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, but you know, when I was in the height of my recovery, you know, I went to a weekend of recovery. And um, that was back in 2007. And then I went back in 2010, and 80% of the same people that were in 2000, that were there in 2007, were there in 2010. And uh, they were coming up to me saying, Rich, you look great, you look phenomenal. Like, you know, how, what have you been doing? And I was like, how bad you three years ago? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. Um, and then I saw those other people in the room that probably looked like me when I was three years earlier. Yeah. You know, so I said, what can I do to get back? You know, how can I help this course? What can I do to, you know, create awareness and break the silence. Right. Let people know that's not their fault. Right. You know, that there's no shame, there's no guilt, that there's on society, etc. You know, that it still happens. You know, so if you I know could knight you, I would. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm not yeah. saying, I never write a play. I'm going to play you, sir. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to write a play. But, you know, I, I never would play before. So I said, you know what? It'll be, be my real life therapy sessions. Yeah, so exactly. So Lemon Meringue is about <clears throat> my real life therapy sessions and what me and my therapist talk about in our private session. And you trusted the therapist. Oh, forget you about afraid she, of, you know, she was great. Right. Oh, it was a woman. And then as uh, Tara saying, then it's important through music and dance and dialogue. Right. You know, which um, is the only way I, I think it's the only way to save the planet is through creativity anyway. Absolutely. And I think I think the, the hope of the piece Are you is, an actress too? I am but I you look like an actress. <laughs> you do. Thank you. She's great. She's phenomenal. She um, like an actress. But I'm I'm directing this piece, my hope is that what you do is you take something very specific like this. And you, it expounds to the universal. Because when somebody can see someone like Rich or myself, who's been through something pretty incredibly awful. Horrible, yeah. Horrific. How old were you? Um, I don't know how young, because I can only get to memory so okay. far. But when you can get past something like that, it lends everyone in the audience a chance to say, what is holding me back from stuff that I could overcome? So hopefully, everybody walks into the theater and they take something from yeah, themselves. Yeah, because everybody yeah. has something. Everybody has something. Absolutely. And it doesn't have to be this horrific it to identify with it. The, and the happy ending of the story is that Rich and I are both here. And we're exactly. like really happy people in our lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're happy now. Yes. And so amazing. it shows you that this is possible for anybody. Are you romantic with each other? No. no. We're good fun. friends. We're good friends. <laughs> no. I was wondering the same thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm married, and um, he's, he's... You're blushing. I am blushing, blushing, but he is a, he's a great guy, no, and yeah. um, a really wonderful it's guy. No, it's a great thing. I think when you work on something this... Yeah, um, everything's like a yes, different kind of it's a co- Yes, it's a work exactly. marriage. Thing. Yeah, exactly. And, and this, is a sec- this is our second time you're mounting. We did four yeah. shows. You know, I mean, and I where, where's the show being? The Barrow Group Theater, 36th and 8th. Yes. From November 8th through the 24th. Fourth. 16 shows. 16 Good shows, 99 yeah. seat yeah. theater. Yeah. 18 bucks a ticket can't go wrong. And it is wow. a valid place to ride. And, it, and, you know, it's, so. and it's a therapy session. It's <laughs> for yeah, anyone it's like who you, comes. Right? Well, put it this way. When the first time we showed it, you know, you know, we, you, you, I wrote this script. We had to get it from page to stage, which Terry was instrumental in doing. Excellent. Uh, How'd you guys meet? Through, um, through a, a survivor. another survivor. Because survivor I, I wanted to just deal with survivors. Yeah, survivor groups. And, um, Somebody put us in touch. Somebody, I have a one-woman show about my journey. What's that called? Uh, called Anatomy of a Doll. And, and where is that? Uh, no one right now, but it was, I've done it for 16 years. Conferences, universities, theaters. So, and keynote speaking. And so the person who had seen my show and who knew Rich put us in touch. They said, you should know her and he should know you. And so it was a matchmaker. It, well, right. a, a theatrical matchmaker. Yeah. I do want to say this, though. This is important for me. Therapy happened in our therapy sessions. 
this is a theater piece, and it does, it is therapeutic, That's what I but mean. it is not therapy because no. it is still art. I didn't want to do right. something that right. is just, yeah. it's right. not just for did us. Did you see the done in LA? LA? No. Because, did you ever hear of it? No. Did you, no, you which, which LA? Movie? Oh, yes, I've heard of this. Yeah, it's, it's a crazy movie about, yeah. you right. know, pedophile. Yeah. But, like, where'd you grow up? New Jersey. Yeah, don't hold it against me. New Jersey. But you're both like overseas. Long Island, New Jersey. Yeah. I lived in the city. I just moved to Long Island six Shoot. years ago. I lived in the city for you know no, 17 it, years. It's okay. It happens everywhere and anywhere. Yes, There's and the stats no discrimination. Are one in four girls, one in six boys. So this is you know if we're sitting here, you know in a room full of people and you've got nine you know ten people, you can right. guarantee two yourself people. that two of the women and at least one of the guys. And so that's how you victimize But it is. the question is, are they aware of it? That is that question. See, For me, mine was very good. I didn't see, that's know. that's what I mean. I, I feel like know. I know a lot of people that don't know. Was well, so some people do know, but <laughs> I feel like I, yeah, right. it just, they right. don't want to come out. But that's it seems right. like a lot of people I know, like, it just seems too perfect that, yeah. like, that they, they block it. Right. I, but, have, I have to say, because I have to plug the show. Please do. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a really brilliant the told story, Rich's writing is brilliant, and the convention of the of this piece where you go into therapy sessions and they kind of explode into dance, where you really see his life told in this really beautiful abstract way through dance, is 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 really stunning visually to watch. And by the end, you walk out humming and singing. That's wonderful. It's a, it's a story within a story. Now, what did you do before that? Before turning into a fabulous playwright and. <laughs> Showman. What, what are you doing? Do? Uh, do? Believe it or not, I'm actually CPA material. <laughs> really? All right. That's yeah. good to know. Yeah. That's good to you know. know. Um, so the books will be good. Yeah, but you know, I just had, I just had a good Like, did you ever know that you were a writer? Like, did it no, just happen? Not did not did you channel it? Yeah, you know what? It was a lot of channeled energy that I had to get out. Yeah. You know, to, you know, it is my story, but it's not about me. No, it's about my true life, my real life. It's really not about me. It's really about what Generic. happens in society today and how it affects the individual and victims. I wrote this piece for victims, not for me. The first time I wrote it, I could give a shit, excuse my French, what the, what the audience thought about it. You right. Know, I didn't write it for the audience. I wrote it for the I care about the audience. So no, that's no, no, why no. I take it. No, he yeah. writes it, I, I and I adapted it, it to give it a theatrical piece. It's, it's fabulous. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's a perfect but what, what, situation. What, what ended up happening was we, we did four shows to see if we can get it off the ground at the Dodd Theater. We sold out all four shows. And at one point, you don't hear anything in the audience. Next point, you hear people crying. Next point, you hear people laughing and then standing ovation. That's so we went through that whole gamut, yeah. and nobody walked out. So we said, we got something good here. But then we had Q&As, and now they want to find out about my life. You know, they said, well, what happened in your marriage? You know, what, happened, what was your relationship with your parents? All right. So I had to write two new scenes. All right, so on that note, it is National Nachos Day. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> We like to share nachos with you guys, but we want a skeleton from your closet. Now, like, your show is an open book. I have, we have yeah. no skeletons. Well, can that's you, the, that's, can you oh, come on. What about another subject? Well, I mean, I think, you know, <laughs> well, I mean, Come on, you, know, well, you had other things well, in life. I, what right? I mean by that is, I guess, skeletons are things that you're ashamed no, of. No, 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 not in our world. In our world, it's like some mistake you made that actually, is actually, actually turns into, like, a blessing in disguise, you know? Something... Something, you know, it's a little trouble. Like, I'm sure, like, you know, that was a big part Rich of it. Which always in a little trouble. Yeah, that's yeah. A, tell us a little trouble story, Rich. A trouble story? I can't think about all my secrets. This one. <laughs> I can't think of any of trouble stories right now. All right, well, when you were, do you have any brothers and sisters? I have a few. I mean, trouble, so we should put some things at pause going on. How about that? At, <laughs> at tomatoes at who? Club? At pause. At pause. At cars? Yeah, we serve people's bodies. And then we looked at the suburban neighborhood. Uh, we surveyed people's gardens. So not only were they angry, they stole their tomatoes. And we threw them on cars. Oh, how horrible. Here, I just have another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that works. That works. That works. I was a terrible um, thief when I was a kid. Oh. I was a good um, shoplifter. Okay. When I was a kid. And do you remember the best thing you know You know why? Because my dad was a cop, and he was my abuser. So I loved taking stuff. Ah, it was so sense. cool, the idea, like I was getting away with, I was breaking the law. Yeah, I was doing something I wasn't supposed to do. So, yeah. and there you go. That was, did you, do you remember anything good? Did you ever get caught? No, I never got caught. Good for you. <laughs> good for you. Yeah. I never got caught. But, uh, you know, I just was, 
And talking to people recently <laughs> that um, it, it's still going on. There are a lot of people that can't help themselves. Oh, I, oh sure. <laughs> I I listen, I've had every ism there is. When you when you deal with that, you yeah. get every ism there is. You know, I've been in recovery. I'm in recovery. Right. You know, I did the drinking. I did the drug. Well, sure. I, did again, I did everything. I did the stealing. I did right. the sex addiction. I, you know, I've had it all. Yeah. And, but that's why I say, like, skeletons. It's yeah. like, I feel like I'm like to a good place where... Okay, the closet's so, open. It's, it's the closet door's open. Exactly. <laughs> right? There's so much beauty and health and great stuff in this world. I barely go back to my youth with all my problems apart. Right. You know, I drank down the early age. I drug down the early age. I was a derelict down the early age. You know, total outcast, etc. So we're you know, all in the same boat. Yeah. You know, we all do you know, that. But, you know, but you, but my thing is now that if you can give back to society, yeah. that's what it's all about. Leaving this planet better when you're down. Yes. Not how horrific shit happened to me. You know what I mean? But fortunately, I was able to overcome it through, you know, massive therapy sessions, et cetera, and now come out and tell people it's, it's, that it doesn't matter. It's all from Jamie Gilbert. Yeah, but it's so brave of you to even, like, you know, be but, able but to. It's, it doesn't it's, it's feel great. You know? yeah. No, but it's brave of you not, not to do the story. That is not um, that you went for therapy because that sometimes you know what, people I, are afraid to take that chance. When I went yeah. to therapy, I was in for rage and anger. You know, I, I was going because my dad died. Yeah. I was going for anything yeah, else. Yeah, because usually when you go to therapy for ah. sexual abuse, you, you yes. the first, your first words are, I've been sexual abused, this is in therapy. Right. And you're going because other things that, are, that contributed exactly. to what you're doing. Exactly. You know, um, so, I mean, I was married, big house, earned, earned a ton of money, had a great life, etc. But I had all this rage busting out of me. Wow. Yeah. You know, and, and the second sex was in the play. The back so, you know, you have all this rage and anger going through the system, but you have no stress. How do you explain it? Why the fuck why not? <laughs> right. Yeah. And then I said, it can't be from that, it can't be from that, it can't be from that. And sure enough, I let it out, and Pandora's box opened up, and then I had no choice but to continue. Good for you. Know? you. See, that's so great. So, because, like, the whole story of the blues is like, you know, when you sing the blues, you rid the blues. Right. You know, it's all about right. getting it out. Right. So, like, by you telling your story, that's, right. that's the most healing yeah. thing that can ever happen. And it's, it's, it's a very it's an exciting show. So, how does it, why is it Lemon Meringue? You have to yeah. see it. Can't okay. <laughs> so there is a good yeah, reason. There is a, yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a perfect metaphor for the play. It's when you see it, you want like it. Love it. Really? Do you like it? Don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. I'll pretend to like it now. I, 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 I do want to say, if people want to find out information about the yes. show, they can go to uh, lemonmeringue.org, right? Yeah. Or, and they can also go to the We Are Many Foundation, which is foundation a foundation that Rich started to bring about awareness of childhood sexual abuse and help people who are adult survivors of childhood sexual abuse. So the proceeds of the play... Go to the We Are Many Foundation. People can make a donation there, or they so can how come do you like um, and make a donation by just seeing the show. How do you like send that to somebody that you think could use it that you don't think are aware of that they could use? Um, you know what? How do you plant seeds for people? Oh, you, 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 what you do is you create awareness, and that's the biggest thing you can do. I mean, like it's, right. the We Are Many Foundation. We have a five-mile race in Huntington. In, you know, um, so is it mostly like, people from Long Island that you that work that with? There? Yeah, right now. So Long Island, Island is loaded yeah. with people. Well, I, I started a group session also. No, it's just anybody could run. It was a fundraiser yeah, yeah, for the fundraiser. foundation. It's just creating awareness. It's what are you running for? You know, sexual abuse. The Women Mini Foundation. You know, and that creates awareness. That gets a buzz out. You know, we're also um, um, raising money for scholarships for kids so, in school. So, well, raising awareness is so powerful. You know, Ruth knows we've done shows go to Music Fest raising awareness for different charities, and so many times people would say to us, wow, thank you, remember when we did the one when I was here that time yeah. for uh, an organ donation, and so yes. many people came up to us and thanked us, because it's not something people really talk right. about, sure. but it's great with what you guys are doing, because it's the same thing, putting out something that people don't really right. talk about. The best way to bring somebody, to get them help, is to start to change the dialogue yeah. about, so it's not this thing that is... No one talks well, about taboo. This, this taboo it's subject taboo. that no one wants to talk about. Right. So people say it's really rude, but for me, it's a matter of survival. Now, do you make any kids, or is it usually grown-ups? Um, for what? For that? That are we are many or like? Well, like, like do, do, do you do you find any kids that it's happening to at the time, or is it usually like the late reaction? No. No. We're, we're, the We Are Many Foundation deals with adults right. who are starting to come out, and there's plenty of organizations out there. Children, unfortunately, you know, there's a ton of information out there for kids and uh, agencies that work with children. Right. 
but there's very few that were actually adults. Right. You know, um, and you know when I was on the, on the Oprah show a few times, you know, I was on the Oprah show one, once in November like 2010, they had a few times, and um, I had people call me up saying, "Rich, I just saw you on the Oprah show. Right. Like you went on there." And by the way, that happened to me. That's what I'm. That's great. You know? Right. And that's what I wanted. So and what was Oprah was, like? She's okay. She's Did she give you any presents? Well, she's the only woman that paid for my uh, airfare hotel and food. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. That works. That's nice. I think yeah. that's the two most powerful words are me too. So when you get to be able to say, when you said something, then you open up a dialogue for somebody else to be able to say me too, and then you create a community, and you break down a wall that exists or right. a stigma that exists. And like Rich said, why should I, sh why should I feel ashamed? Society should feel ashamed that we should have to go underground. Right. It's not something we did. It's something that happened to us. So why should I feel ashamed to say it? And if you claim that and you can walk in the world like that, then maybe more people can do that too. Yeah. More people can feel galvanized by that idea and they can come forward and say, me too. Right. Do you think there's any other good pieces of art that help with the topic? Like movies or anything? That um, yeah, I'm sure there's good movies that, that, you know, that come out now and then that address the topic. Do you think you'll make Lennon Meringue into a movie? If I got back, I'd make anything to move. All up on the wood, you know. And just getting back to what Terry's saying, it's silence that makes sexual abuse grow. Silence is a friend. So the more you can talk about it, the more you create awareness of it. Well, that's what AIDS was all about as well, you know. That was yeah. the whole yeah. silence. That's right. Yeah. Well, you know? it is really inspiring. And I'll say one other thing. If anybody Please, yeah. wants to spend, if you see an adult spending more time with your child than you do, it's a problem. Ah. Yes. Now, and that could be a know who the people are who are around your kids. Children. Know them. Like their doctors. Yeah, their doctors, their coaches, their teachers, their right. priests, their rabbis, yeah. their yeah, yeah, yeah. Their babysitters. Yeah, yeah. Know who they are. Yeah. As a parent of two small boys, I know every person who interacts with my sons and they no one spends more time with my kids than my husband or me. And that's right. So Well, not always. I'm not saying you. Well, but I mean, I'm saying right, that right. we don't have people in their lives yeah. who have occupied. Yeah, I get it. A, You know, it becomes a special plate partnership that's only them. Gosh, what a fucked up world. It right? is. It's what yeah. crazy. God, and it's adults that fuck it up. It's not the kids. Exactly. It's well, it's so good so that you guys are doing this. It's amazing, and it's Thank really you. inspiring. And Lemon Meringue, what are the dates yeah. again? November uh, 8th? 8th through the 24th yep. at the Barrowville Theater. So it's 36 to 8th. This Friday. Yeah, Friday. 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 Wow. Yeah. Um, Why didn't she on Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> really? Why didn't she on Saturday? Yes, on Saturday, Saturday nights. Yeah. Wow. And talk back, yeah. Lena talk Friday. back with the audience and with Rich and I, this question A, Q&A, &A, &A, so people can uh, ask questions if they want. That sounds great. Afterwards. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Stephen. We love you, Stephen. All right, we'll be back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.